Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we will discuss our next unit that is the Turing machine. In depth, we will study what is Turing machine, formal definition of it, how to design the Turing machine, universal Turing machine and in last church Turing thesis. Till now, we have already seen the finite automata and push down automata. And we have also studied the class of languages they accept. As we know, the language accepted by finite automata is called regular language, while the language accepted by push down automata is called the context free language. As we know that limitation of FA can overcome by PDA because PDA is more powerful than FA. The data structure we had in FA that is the only input string and we had a one control that can move only to the forward direction. So we can scan our input string from left to right direction only in case of finite automata. So due to this FA have very limited power while in case of PDA Apart from the input string, we had a stake and due to the stake, PDA is different from FA. So we can say PDA is nothing but it's a combination of FA plus stake. But again, there is some limitation of push down automata that is we can access only the top element from the stake. And due to this limitation, we cannot access any random element of state. So, some languages cannot be accepted by push down automata also. This limitation can overcome by Turing machine. In short, limitation of FA can overcome by PDA and limitation of PDA can overcome by Turing machine. So, let us discuss the Turing machine. The class of languages accepted by Turing machine is called recursively enumerable language. Turing machine consists of mainly four things that is the input string, tape, special symbol and control portion. Here most important thing is tape. Tape is something like look into this diagram. It is a sequence of infinite cell and we have also one tap head. The tap head is positioned on the symbol on which the current control is present. Tap head can move either one step to the left direction or one step to the right direction. As we know that the tap is infinite sequence of cell the input symbol that we have can filled into the cell and the remaining cell filled with the special symbol. The special symbol is called blank symbol and blank symbol is represented by capital delta. Delta is not part of input string. The main thing we need to remember are the tap is infinite sequence of cells. The tap head is positioned where the current control is present and empty cells can be filled with the special symbol delta. Now moving forward to the operation that can be performed by Turing machine. There are mainly three basic operation. First one is read a symbol above the tap. We can only read the symbol where the tape head is position. For example, we can read the small a because tape head is position over here. The second operation that you can perform onto the tap is update or modify a symbol above the tap. For example, we have a over here. This a can update it or overwritten by some another symbol. For example, this A can be updated or modified by another symbol B. 
and the last operation is the shift operation. Tap head can shift either one cell to the right direction or one cell to the left direction. So it can move either on A or it can move either to the B. Now what actually Turing machine is? Turing machine is a combination of a control portion plus tap. Now we know very well what is the tap and what is the tap head. Now control portion is you can say it is similar to FA or PDA. In short it is some diagram. And this diagram is deterministic in nature. We know very well what is the meaning of term deterministic. In short, Turing machine is combination of control portion and tap. Now we have already discussed the operation that can be performed by Turing machine. That is read operation, modify or update operation and shift operation. Now we will discuss how to represent this operation on Turing machine or how to write this operation on Turing machine. So here we have one transition diagram of Turing machine. Here circle represent the states and there are some symbols above the transition. The symbols are A slash B comma R. The leftmost symbol is for read operation. Second symbol is for update operation and third symbol is for shift operation. Now, first symbol is read. That means you need to read this symbol onto the tab. Second is update operation. That means you can replace A by small b. So, read A onto the tab. Update A by B and last one is R. R that means shift one cell to the right direction. So shift your tap head one cell to the right direction. If the symbol is L then you have to shift one cell to the left direction. And if it is S that means no need to shift anywhere. Let us see some another example. B slash A comma L. That means read B onto the tab, update B by A and move to the left direction. Same way A slash delta comma R. That means read A onto the tab, replace A by delta and move to the right direction. A slash A comma R that means read A onto the tab replace A by again small a and move to the right direction. Now if you don't want to update any cell then you have to write the same symbol onto the update operation. Here A is replaced by A so there will be no change into the cell. Now last one is small a replaced by capital A and it say S. So A is replaced by capital A and you do not need to move any direction. Now moving forward to the formal definition of Turing machine. Turing machine is a five tuple. T is equal to capital Q sigma capital gamma q0 and delta where capital q is a finite set of state assume not to contain ha that means acceptance state and hr that means the rejection state here ha that means halt and accept and hr is halt and reject so ha and hr both states are not a part of capital Q. Sigma is input symbol, capital gamma is tape alphabets, Q0 is initial state and it is element of capital Q. 
delta is transition function so these are the five tuples of turing machine so this was the formal definition of turing machine and lecture was regarding to the introduction of turing machine thank you all of you